seat the arriving guests. UNC strictly follows the International Fire Code guidelines, and so we um, expect to reach capacity in the gym. And when that happens, we will be redirecting people that have not found a seat yet to the champions room to view um, a stream of the ceremony today. Following the ceremony, for your convenience and faster exit, you will be able to leave from the doors on the west side behind the stage, which will put you right into the parking lot where the football field is. So you don't have to go back out through the main doors. You are welcome to exit through the west side of the building. In just a few minutes, the ceremony will begin, and we ask the audience to remain seated during the processional. Thank you.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Would the audience please stand as the UNC Police Department Honor Guard approaches the stage for the presentation of colors. And while Sarah Kochevar leads us in singing our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. Welcome to the University of Northern Colorado Fall Undergraduate Commencement Ceremony. My name is Vish Iyer, and I'll be your host for today's ceremony. Our student farewell address this afternoon will be given by Alisa Del Foss. Alisa will be receiving her Bachelor of Arts degree in secondary teaching. Hey guys. When I was thinking about how I wanted to start this speech, I thought it would be fun to start with a graduation joke. You know, lighten the mood and get things loosened up. Unfortunately, I'm not funny when I want to be, so naturally, I googled it. Also, unfortunately, I am very easy to amuse and I couldn't just pick one. So, here are my favorites. Graduations are so immature, you can't get to the end without name calling. Yeah. <laughs> I ordered a graduation cake for my graduation party. The baker asked me what I wanted it to say. Wow, talking cakes, who knew? <laughs> okay, I had to cut myself off there because I was having way too much fun reading jokes on the internet instead of preparing for finals which is more self-control than I had most of college, as I'm sure most of you can relate to. On another note, I think it's important to stop for a minute to acknowledge how nice it is to have an indoor ceremony for our fabulous winter graduation, where I'm only sweating profusely because I'm talking to you all and not because I'm baking like a stuffed potato in the hot summer sun, which is reason enough for another joke. My college graduation was held inside, and man, it was hot. There must have been like a thousand degrees in there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> On my first day of class at UNC, I was somehow even more sweaty than I am right now, and I know most of you relate to me there. 
I decided to transfer for the spring semester and also decided not to familiarize myself with campus even a tiny bit before embarking on my journey. So picture this, me walking around campus, not a single clue as to where I was, not a sign to point me in the right direction, just walking fast so that no one would ask me if I was lost. I didn't eat anything but bread from the place that I worked for the first whole week because I was too afraid to ask anyone where the dining hall was. Turns out it was not even a minute walk from my dorm. <laughs> Make some noise if you've ever felt lost in college. <laughs> All right, I feel better now. As miserable as I was, I now look back quite fondly upon those first few weeks, and I most certainly laugh at how afraid I was then. I wish I had known then what I know now, mainly where the dining halls are, but also that I had nothing to be afraid of because the next four and a half years were going to be the best years of my life and that I would encounter so much and learn so much. We all have those moments where we are completely and utterly lost and I am forever grateful that I chose to attend UNC because it gave me a place to call home and gave me a compass when I felt utterly lost. And I know you all feel as lucky as I do to have made that decision. Choosing a college can be a crazy hard choice, but we all chose here, and here chose us as much as a place can, and here we all belong. Here we met challenge, and we met diversity. We met opposition, and we met incredible beauty. And maybe most importantly, we met ourselves. Because this wasn't just a degree for us. It was a journey of self and world discovery, and an amazing one at that. Which brings us to this, to now, our actual college undergraduate graduation. Who's excited? Heck yeah! The road that guided us here was often winding and rocky, yet it was all the while bathed in sunshine and surrounded by green grass. The experiences and the knowledge we have gained over these past years are worth every late night cry, I mean study, session, and I am proud to surround myself today with the graduating class of 2019. Some of you that graduate with me today were mothers, fathers, first generation students, full time workers on top of your classes, athletes, and many other walks of life. We stand together in triumph today. I should take a moment to acknowledge some of the people who were responsible for allowing and even encouraging us to pursue our success. As crazy as all of our professors are for unleashing us upon the world, I am unspeakably grateful that they dedicated their lives to changing ours. Dealing with us was brave, and each one of them deserves a lifetime of vacation for every time one of us walked in late with Starbucks. At UNC, they saw us as individuals, not as a massive wave of students washing through the door of their classrooms every day. We have made some of the most meaningful connections of our lives with the professors here, whether it be crying with chocolate in one office and definitely not the other, or receiving the gift of their time for extra mentoring and direction. One thing is for sure, they are all guiding lights that led us here today. And speaking of beacons to lean on, I would like to offer my deepest gratitude to the people who always lifted us up our families, and support systems. There are a few things more frustrating and annoying than a broke, tired college student, and you all handled us like champs. From our meek beginnings of trying to manage late night study sessions and 8 a.m. classes, to soothing us through a bad grade, to helping us discover our identities and our voices, our passions and our path, we couldn't have done it without you. Thank you all for being there for us and never letting us give up on ourselves. And I want to thank each one of you my close friends and my complete strangers for joining me on this absolutely bonkers ride that was our undergraduate degree. We taught each other kindness and perseverance and helped shape one another into the people we are. It was a pleasure to exist near all of you and I feel a strange melancholy feeling at the idea of following our separate paths. As bittersweet as our parting is, however, I am confident in the fact that a wave of the most incredible, smart, and kind people in the entire universe is about to take the world totally unaware in a good way. Commencement means beginning, and although today marks the end of some things, some very stressful things, it primarily marks the beginning of something. UNC left us with both a strong aversion to homework and an incredible legacy to carry on as we catapult into the world as teachers, future medical and law students, executives, entrepreneurs, actors, musicians, athletes, and so much more, which I think is a fantastic reason for me to make you all cringe with one last joke. <laughs> <laughs> Educated people are hot because they have more degrees. <laughs> so class of 2019, I will leave you all with something Maya Angelou told Oprah while teaching her to make biscuits. Baby, you have no idea what your legacy will be because your legacy is every life that you touch. Thank you and congratulations.
It is now my honor and privilege to introduce to you the president of the University of Northern Colorado, Dr. Andy Feinstein. Well, thank you, Dr. Iyer, and good afternoon, graduates and guests. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos. I am honored to join you and share in this momentous occasion. As we begin, we acknowledge that the grounds upon which our university stands are inextricably tied to the history and culture of indigenous peoples. We pay our respect to elders past, present, and future, and to those who have stewarded this land throughout the generations. The University of Northern Colorado occupies the lands and the territories of the Ute, Cheyenne, and Arapaho peoples. Further, we acknowledge the 48 tribes that are historically tied to the state of Colorado. I challenge us to be better stewards of the land we inhabit, as well as learn the stories and practices of indigenous people's history and culture. <laughs> Graduates, today marks a significant milestone on your journey as a lifelong learner. As president, I am honored to be among the first to share my congratulations, to recognize you, and to celebrate your success. Commencement is one of my favorite university events. It is a time for celebration and a day to remember. It is a day to, and I cannot stress this enough, take lots of photos and videos. So graduates, I know this contradicts what you've heard in class, but do not be shy about using your phone today. Take selfies throughout the ceremony and post to social media with the hashtag UNCBearGrad. In fact, I'm gonna take a selfie right now. So graduates, please rise. So I need you to get a little closer together in the middle here for me, if you would. Thank you. Please be seated. In all seriousness, please capture and share your favorite moments from today's celebration. I want you to leave here able to remember the deep sense of accomplishment that only comes when you achieve a monumental goal. And a big goal takes a big team. Will our parents, family members, and supporters in attendance please rise or raise your hand and be recognized? Thank you for sharing in UNC's commitment to student success. This is a team effort, and we appreciate your contributions. Graduates, you have heard me speak often about our commitment to student success, and that commitment begins with our trustees, who place your educational attainment at the center of all that we do. Will the trustees with us this afternoon please stand to be recognized including trustees Janice Sinden, Dr. Steve Jordan, faculty trustee Dr. Fritz Fisher, and student trustee Malika Michelle Fuller. Thank you for joining today's celebration. Thank you also to the dedicated staff, faculty, and university leaders who make transformative education possible at UNC. 
Will our faculty, staff, and leaders across campus please stand or raise your hands and be recognized. We have many veterans, active duty military personnel, and military family members with us today. Please stand or raise your hand if you are on active duty or are a veteran. On behalf of UNC, thank you for your service to our country. Graduates, you are a part of a noble tradition that dates back to 1891 when our institution celebrated commencement for the first 12 graduates. Since then, 154,000 individuals have graduated from our university. We are honored to have you be counted among this esteemed group and excited to celebrate your success. Among you today are 602 graduates. You range in age from 19 to 57 years old. Our fall graduating class represents 45 Colorado counties, 42 states, and 10 countries in addition to the United States. You reflect the rich diversity that makes our nation and university strong. And today is about celebrating what makes you individually and collectively an impressive group of graduates. With many of our students being the first in their family to attend college, today is about celebrating the individuals who will soon become the first in their families to cross a college commencement stage. As a Carnegie Classified Engage campus, today is a celebration for the students whose commitment to education is matched by their commitment to community. As a university where nearly a quarter of our undergraduate students identify as Latinx, today is about celebrating all those who proudly say, si se puede, yes we can. Because you can and you did. Today is about celebrating the future educators, artists, scientists, business leaders, healthcare professionals, and others who graduate from our nationally recognized programs ready to enter careers as leaders and innovators. As you enjoy today's ceremony and the celebrations that will surely follow, I want you to remember the sense of accomplishment and excitement that you feel right now. It may be mixed with nervousness or anticipation, and that is okay. What is important is that you remember what it feels like to succeed in what you set out to achieve. You will certainly face challenges and bumps along your way in life, but I know that when you set out to achieve a goal, whether it is attaining a UNC degree, advancing in your career, or advocating for change in your community, you will succeed. The path to success may not always be clear, so remember why you started and remember what it feels like to succeed, what it feels like today in this moment. Use today's feeling of accomplishment to fuel your drive toward your next goal in life. And if the feeling starts to fade, I want you to look back on our graduation group selfie and know that UNC will always be here to help you and celebrate your success. After all, once a bear, always a bear. Congratulations, UNC graduates. Well, good afternoon. My name is Mark Anderson, and I'm Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs and Provost here at the University of Northern Colorado. I'd like to also add my welcome to the families and friends of all of our graduates, and to congratulate our graduates who are with us this afternoon. I'd also like to acknowledge Alyssa for her wonderful words. She's added to my own personal joke repertoire, so I appreciate that. <clears throat> 
Among the many traditions associated with commencement is the presentation of the mace and the college banners during the processional. These items symbolize the graduates' accomplishments and the university's commitment to student success. The selection of the banner bearer is considered to be a special honor. Those serving as banner bearers today have been recognized and selected by their colleges based upon their academic contributions. What are mace and banner bearers? Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. In addition, we acknowledge our commencement marshals, deputy marshals, and marshal captains who serve as the leaders during these ceremonies. Would these faculty members please stand and be recognized? Thank you for your service. Today, I have the distinct honor of recognizing some of our most distinguished student scholars. Will the candidates for the Latin honors, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude please stand? Congratulations. To qualify for Latin honors, these students have successfully completed at least 56 credit hours at UNC and have achieved the necessary cumulative grade point averages throughout their academic careers. Students graduating summa cum laude have maintained a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 or higher. Indeed. <laughs> Students graduating magna cum laude have maintained a cumulative grade point average of between 3.8 and 3.89. And students graduating cum laude have maintained a cumulative grade point average of between 3.7 and 3.79. Congratulations. These students are identified by the blue and gold cords that they wear around their neck. Individual honors will be announced as students have received their diplomas. Please join me in congratulating once again the students receiving the Latin honors. Would students in our University Honors, Scholars and Leadership Program, as well as mortarboard students, please stand. <laughs> These students can be identified by their gold stoles or the silver and gold tassels. We recognize them for their superior achievement in scholarship, leadership, and service. Please join me in congratulating our honor scholars and leadership program and mortar board students. Thank you. Will candidates who have been recommended for te teacher licensure please stand? The University of Northern Colorado has a long history of excellence in teacher education. These candidates who have been recommended for te teacher licensure wear light blue tassels. Please join me in recognizing the accomplishment of our teacher licensure students. The laws of the state of Colorado vest the authority for the University of Northern Colorado and its board of trustees. We are pleased to have trustee Janice Sinden here to give the authorization for the conferring of degrees. Good afternoon, thank you, Provost Anderson. The board of trustees extends its congratulations to our UNC graduates and families. We are proud of your accomplishments and the significant milestone in your lives. President Feinstein, by virtue of the authority vested in the board of trustees of the University of Northern Colorado and as a member of the board, I hereby authorize you to confer on this term's graduates the appropriate degrees as recommended by the faculty of the university.
Thank you, Trustee Sinden. We appreciate your tremendous service and support of your alma mater. Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand? By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and upon the recommendations of the faculty, I confer upon each of you the appropriate Bachelor's of Arts degree to which you are entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining to this degree. Congratulations. Please be seated. The deans of the respective colleges will now present the graduates who have met the requirements for the degrees established and recommended by their college's faculty. Good afternoon. My name is Eugene Sheehan, Dean of the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences. Will the candidates receiving Bachelor of Arts degrees from the College of Education and Behavioral Sciences please come forward to receive your diplomas? John Huddleton. Hannah Halferty. Chloe Boyles, summa cum laude. Cheyenne Shumway. Mackenzie Patrick. Allison McClure, cum laude. Savannah Lester. Judith Cruz. Savannah Drotar, summa cum laude. Hilary Menke, summa cum laude. Miriam Fuentes. Luxia Lee, cum laude. Jacqueline Fraser, magna cum laude. Jessica Delgado Trujillo. Janelle Kiefer. Aiden Feehan. Karina Lozano Martin. Tia Roundy. Jesse Schoengarth. Ashley Folkman. Jennifer Ruiz, cum laude. Andrea Stockover, cum laude. Riley Ward. Tegan Height, summa cum laude. Sarah Stice, summa cum laude. Jillian Campanola. Angela Cho. Elizabeth Medina. Donovan Fontaine. Noelle Batris. Carissa Leachman. Kyler Eubank. Hannah Alexander, summa cum laude. Abigail Milkey, magna cum laude. Kyra Mix, cum laude. Megan Hewitt, magna cum laude. Alexis Villanueva. Caitlin Ronan. Laura Rosling, cum laude. Aaron Coleman. Liana Rosling. 
Morgan Stewart, summa cum laude. Isela Cervantes Rodriguez. Amanda Schumann. Lorena Anders. Candace Adams. Cassidy Buckholz. Cecilia Vigil. Taylor Denniston. Ashley Schnickgrund. Shelby Morton. Alexandra Sturgill. Esmeralda Lino. Hannah Baker. Antonia Fornaro. Cyrus Brown. Michaela Drozdowski, cum laude. Alicia Carlino. Emily Svoboda. Alexi Cordry. Paige Baldwin, summa cum laude. Catherine Derby, magna cum laude. Megan Barnes. Maya Gutierrez. Tiffany Burke. Jeremy Hernandez, magna cum laude. Caitlin Cornell. Bailey Jones, summa cum laude. Michelle Garcia, summa cum laude. Rachel Livingston. Ashley Gilmore. Mary Morgan. Maxwell Kershisnik. Benjamin T. Molusky. Angelique Hernandez. Alina Nelson. Liana Howard. Madison North, summa cum laude. Kaylee Kesterson. Andrea Pena. Cosmo Lopez. Alyssa Yates. Joshua Lopez. Delora Young. Jamie Mullins. Megan Urias. Alexa Pellegrino, magna cum laude. Molly Hartman. Natalie Salucci. Emily Pitzinger. Bradley Scullion. Alexandra Rice, cum laude. Kirsten Watley Mata. Aaron DeForest. Joyce Wilson. Allison Mom, cum laude. Michael Rodriguez. Lindsay Miles, summa cum laude. Megan Eileen Milliken. Lauren Buss. No. Erica Schuster, cum laude. Mackenzie Shrake, cum laude. Brenna Pervin. Gina Carson, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Pepin. Elise Conrad. Kayla Allen. Danielle Kaiden. Dagny Milisuta. Lauren Mitchell, cum laude. Joanna Osberg. Jenna Patachik. Natalie Litauer. Emily Hood, summa cum laude. 
Noah Hayden Cum Laude. Justin Cass, Magna Cum Laude. Erlinda Cruz. Thomas Irvin. Alina Condi, Summa Cum Laude. Victoria Warren, Magna Cum Laude. Marika Bart, Summa Cum Laude. Flynn Escobado, Summa Cum Laude. Zion Rivera. Jayton Barney. Hi, everyone. My name is Laura Connolly, and I am proud to be the Dean of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences. Well, the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts degree from the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, please come forward to receive your diplomas. Catherine James. Logan Myers. Sam Greenberg. Taylor Snyder, summa cum laude. Elizabeth Jennings. Ching Ting Chen, Chen Ching Ting. Daniela Thompson, summa cum laude. Anthony Montoya. Jinmei Lin. Dakota Nabe. Katie Bell. Matthew Atkin. Sydney Colby. Ryan Ward. Fernando Lopez. Tucker Dudley. Trisha War. Sam Patak. Haley Combs. Mary Bischoff. Travis Voigt. Stephanie Orozco Montes. Caleb Mulvin. Zarel Moran. Antonio Lopez Jr. Emily Maceo. Tanner Howard. Brandon Medina. Jacqueline Moreno. David. Patterson. Wasera Bahata. Dylan King. Anthony Cisneros. Luke Bowie. Sydney Hartman. Jaden Fuqua. Hunter Pond. Abigail Avalos. Alexandra Swanti. Myra Moreno. Tyler Price. Marlene Ramirez. Kian Kagan. Julia Miles. 
Jacob Seitz. Nathaniel Hoke, cum laude. Jonathan Mark. Haley Frazier. Alexis McElwain. Lucy Pena. Lucy Pena. Shelby Frederickson, summa cum laude. Stevie Horner. Marcus Johnson. Brianna Butcher. Miranda Moore. Megan Mercer. Sadie Stewart. Crystal Quesada. Kevin Mancenares, magna cum laude. Lauren Hendricks. Sofia Ramos Magana. Cody Johnson. Emily Calvell. Connor Eugene Reagan. Marcella Carrion. Kyle Carey. Brian Dutzler. Luke Duggan. Cora Colvin. Michael Keel. Easton Karna, cum laude. Holly Hunt, magna cum laude. Madeline Sadler. Janet Esquivel. Derek Troud. Tim Hernandez, summa cum laude. Brittany Holland. Denise Sanchez, cum laude. Delia Lynch, summa cum laude. Sadie Albright, magna cum laude. Nicholas West. Alyssa Delfos. Kyle Dinner. Veronica Walker. Diani Dussault, summa cum laude. Jamie Ingalls. Danielle Swain. Forrest Epler. Fayed Zangaba, magna cum laude. Eric Anderson. Andrew Elmendorf. Gina Rabivinich, cum laude. Reagan Siegfried. Ryan Kelly. Emily Waters Liga, cum laude. Tanner Schwint. Aubrey Wells. Matthew Wilson. Rachel Carrillo, cum laude. April McClure. Cassandra Whitfield. Jaime Gonzalez Pinedo. Willie B. Fairman III. Michael Walker.
Got to protect the mace. Well, thank you all. The graduating class of 1910 left as a gift to the university an entry gate on 10th Avenue, which is inscribed with the motto, rowing, not drifting. This resonates with me as a powerful, relevant metaphor, a reminder to be purposeful. As you leave here today, I hope you will take time to reflect on the rowing you have done to earn your degree. And I encourage you to be fearless rowers in all of your pursuits, no matter the direction you take from here. I also encourage you to remain connected with your alma mater. UNC is stronger because of you and with you. As graduates, you join a network of more than 134,000 living alumni worldwide. Use your bare network and put it to work when you seek a career change, find a new place to call home, or look for ways to stay connected to UNC. Will everyone who is a UNC alum please stand? That includes all of you graduates. Look around you graduates. These individuals are your bear network. This network is a tremendous resource that will always be there for you. Don't forget, once a bear. Thank you, you may be seated. Graduates, let's, let's look back at a few highlights from this past year. This video serves as a small sample of what makes our campus so special. UNC is just the right size to foster meaningful relationships forged with world-class opportunities that distinguish us from our peers. I am proud that we produce graduates who are a testament to what is possible with a UNC degree. In just a moment, the University Trombone Ensemble will perform the recessional. Will the audience, graduates, and faculty please remain seated until the stage party exits and you are dismissed by the commencement marshals. Once dismissed, I encourage our graduates and guests to remain and take photos to celebrate and remember today. And finally, graduates, as a symbol of your transition from student to alumni, you may move your tassel to the left side of your mortar board. Congratulations, I declare the fall 2019 undergraduate commencement at a close. At a close. <laughs>